Windows 10 comes with a command prompt utility that can be used to perform various tasks. It is also known as CMD and can be launched by typing command EXE in the search box of the start menu. The CMD utility can be used to access different areas of your Windows computer. You can use it to configure various system settings, change file attributes, perform troubleshooting tasks, and much more. To activate your CMD, you must first check that you have the necessary permissions on your computer. You can do this by opening the command prompt as an administrator. If you have the necessary permissions, you can now enter certain commands that will activate the CMD. These commands are, net start CMD and new activation. You can also check to see whether or not your system is already activated by entering the command. CHKDSK activation. If the activation succeeded, you will get a message stating the activation was successful. If the activation was not successful, you would need to try again. To do this, you can enter the command, new activation again. This will help to reset the activation process. Once the activation is successful, you will be able to use the CMD efficiently to perform various utility tasks on your Windows computer. You can use it to configure system settings, access various media files, and perform other maintenance tasks. Another way to activate your command prompt is to use an activation code. This code can be found in the Windows registry. To access this registry, you must go to the start menu and type in regedit. When the registry editor opens, search for the activation key for the particular system you are using. Once you have found the key, enter the code in the activation prompt that appears when you launch your CMD. Another way to activate your CMD is to use a batch file. This is a small file that contains a set of commands that can be executed in order to activate certain features and functions of your CMD. If you are looking for information on how to create and run a batch file to activate your CMD, you can search for it online. There are many tutorials available that can help you understand the process of creating and running a batch file. If your system does not have a batch file, you can create one yourself. To do this, you must first open Notepad and paste the necessary commands into it. After you have created your batch file, you must save it in an appropriate location such as the desktop. Once the file is saved, you must open the command prompt and enter the command run.bat to activate it. The CMD activation also requires that you register the system with Microsoft. To do this, you must enter the command net stop CMD and then the command net start CMD. You will receive a message confirming that your system has been successfully registered with Microsoft. This will enable you to use the CMD for various tasks. If you want to activate the CMD utility on multiple computers, you can create a script to activate the necessary features on each computer. This script can be run on each computer in order to activate the CMD utility. The script can be customized according to the type of activation you require. For example, one script can activate the CMD utility on Windows 8 computers while another script can activate the CMD utility on Windows 10 computers. Once the script has been created, you can save it in the same location as before and run it manually on each computer. This will enable you to quickly activate the CMD utility on a large number of computers in a short period of time.
If you want to activate the CMD utility automatically you can use the task scheduler. This will enable you to schedule when and how often the CMD should be activated. After the task scheduler has been configured, the activation process will run in the background without any human intervention. This will enable you to quickly activate the CMD utility on a regular basis. In order to avoid errors during the activation process, you should make sure that all necessary system files have been installed and are running correctly. Microsoft regularly releases security patches and other updates that can help to fix any issues that might occur during the activation process. Therefore, you should make sure to install any updates that are available. Another important aspect of activating the CMD utility is configuring the settings. These settings vary depending on the configuration of your system. For example, if you want to launch the CMD from the start menu, you must configure the run dialog box to open the CMD utility. In order to configure this dialog box, you must open the registry editor and locate the parameter values related to the run dialog box.